Hello and welcome to this lesson. Remember in our last lesson we discussed about courtism too. Now in this lesson we will be learning on nationalism and the objectives for this lesson are you should be able to define nationalism, identify the major nationalist leaders, mention the roles of nationalist leaders, and examples. Now what is nationalism? Nationalism denotes law for one's country. It also means law for the neighborhood, the land, the home, the physical features of one's environment and everything about the country. Okay, now let's talk about um, a nationalist. Who is a nationalist? A nationalist is that person who wants his people to have as much wealth and power as possible. He wants them to make progress and enjoy the good things of life. He wants his country to command the respect of others. He gives his affection totally to his country. Nationalism to the colonized people means the struggle to gain political independence from the colonial masters or alien rulers. Now to some other people it means cultural emancipation or struggle against cultural assimilation and to others it is a struggle against economic exploitation by alien rulers or business groups. Nationalism can therefore be seen as a people's struggle for political independence cultural liberation and economic emancipation students now let's let us learn about the major nationalist leaders the first year we have is Herbert Macaulay Herbert Macaulay was a Nigerian nationalist politician surveyor engineer and considered by many Nigerians as the founder of Nigerian nationalism. We also have late chief Obafemi Awolowo, who was a Nigerian nationalist who played a key role in Nigeria's independence movement. He was one of the truly trans um, one of the truly self-made men among his contemporaries in Nigeria. We also have Dr. Namdi Azikiwe, usually referred to as Zik, was a Nigerian nationalist and political leader who served as the first president of Nigeria, of Nigeria from 1963 to 1966, considered a driving force behind the nation's independence. The next we have here is Sir Abubakar Tafawa Balewa, who was a Nigerian politician who served as the first and only Prime Minister of Nigeria upon independence. A university in the north was named after him as Abubakar Tafawa Balewa University. Next we have here is Sir Amadou Bello, who was a conservative Nigerian who masterminded northern Nigeria through the independence of Nigeria in 1960 and served as its first and only premier from 1954 until his assassination in 1966. And the Federal University in Kaduna was named after him as Amadou Bello University, Zaria. The next year we have is Chief Antony Enahoro. Now, who was one of Nigeria's foremost anti colonial and political activist. Now, he was born as the eldest of 10 children in Uromi, in the present Edo state of Nigeria. Next we have here is Michael Okbara, who was a Nigerian politician, and he believed that agricultural reform was crucial to the ultimate success of Nigeria. Now, student, let us look at other nationalists from Africa. Here we have Nelson Mandela, who was a South African anti apartheid rev revolutionary. Now, he was a political leader and philanthropist who served as the first president of South Africa from 1994 to 
1999. Now he was the country's first black head of state. Next year we have is Winnie Mandela who was a South African anti-apartheid activist and politician. She served as a member of parliament from 1994 to 2000. Three, and also the wife of late Nelson Mandela. The next year we have is Kwame Nkrumah from Ghana, who was a Ghanaian politician, political theorist, and revolutionary of Ghana, having led the Gold Coast to independence from Britain in 1957. All right, and lastly we have Leopold Tengo from Senegal. He was a Senegalese poet, politician and cultural theorist. He served as the first president of Senegal. He was also the founder of the Senegalese Democratic Party. Now students, I believe you understand the various major nationalist leaders in Nigeria and Africa. Let us go to the next concept. Now, student, let us look at the various roles of nationalist leaders. And the first year we have is the formation of different political parties, which they use for the struggle for political independence of their countries. The next role here is many of them established mass media organization like the print media which serve as their means of educating their people against colonial rule the next role here we have is the led mass movement in the form of mass demonst demonstration against specific colonial policies and programs the next year we have is that they attended constitutional conferences and joined in the drafting of constitutions for their respective countries. They championed the cause of formal education and in many cases established schools to promote literacy among their people. They also promoted the spirit of nation building by encouraging the love for one's country, rural integration, economic independence through the introduction of the indigen indigenization policy and so many others. Now, they provided the leadership needed to let their states out of imperialism. Now, this is the end of our lesson. Until next time, and bye.